students how is your exam preparation hope you are preparing well so i am dr madhunarayana vasude consultant surgical oncologist from hyderabad so i will be discussing neat super specialty 2023 questions which of the following therapies is a dual tyrosine kinase inhibitor that means it has two mechanism of actions dual tyrosine kinase inhibitor the targets both head 2 and egfr and is used in the treatment of hep 2 positive breast cancer so tazimab it targets only hep 2 adotazimab same naradinib is not used in the hep 2 positive breast cancer as far as you know and here he specifically said hep 2 and egfr targeted so hep 2 and egfr target hep 2 and egfr target is done by the lapatinib so and it's also one of the therapies recommended in the hep 2 positive breast cancer so here is the table which shows some of the drugs which is used in many cancers so you can, here you can go through it so the main important ones i recommend to recommend you people to read is the non small cell lung cancer prostate cancer just any how most of the people knows and uh, yes this one especially yeah lapatinib here is the option and renal cancers renal cancers here you need to remember this albocyclib cdk inhibitors cdk4 or 6 inhibitors breast cancer cetuximab also is bevacizumab another one is yeah trastuzumab these are the ones generally they are recommended and you know this is the antibody drug conjugates so you need to remember this list you can go through this list and generally solid cancers are the only ones which are asked not the leukemias or lymphomas so another question is ca breast in pregnant female different from normal female which of the following is the wrong option so is it different or not how different it is you need to be careful in choosing your options here the answer straight away i can go it's a work prognosis as compared to non pregnant female here it's wrong so when compared to stage like for example a non pregnant woman woman with t2n1 and a pregnant woman with t2n1 so these two have a same prognosis it doesn't have a different prognosis even though if the patient has a breast cancer with the same stage no need of mammography in pregnant female yes you you need you can avoid mammography you can get a mri done or you can safely shield the abdomen and you can get the mammography so this is this can be done new adjuvant treatment can be given in second trimester and third trimester yes it can be safely be given dilated bleeds can be confused for lobular lesions yes this is also true birth prognosis is wrong so they have the same prognosis for compared with the stage in a pregnant versus non pregnant both have the same prognosis so that's the end of this lecture which includes previous years questions in the neat super specialty exam hope i have given a thorough idea of arriving at a correct answer and excluding the wrong answers also so that should be the ideal way to have a correct answer in the need super specialty exam all the best students thank you